What's up everybody, my name is Scott Waters. Welcome to the Life to Metal. It's time for another big 7-inch edition. That's right, all 7-inch records, rock and metal updates. Um, this is not all metal, this is a mixture of rock and metal. Some of it's hard rock, some of it's not so hard rock. <laughs> um, regardless, it's all 7-inch vinyl. So I'm going to start off with some of the not metal stuff. Um, this is a 7-inch uh, UK pressing of Biko by Peter Gabriel. Picked this up when I was out in California for... Uh, two or three dollars at uh, Amoeba Records and this one actually has two songs that were um, not released on uh, on the actual album there's uh, and I can't pronounce either one of these Shasho Laza <laughs> and Jed's Kom die Flute I'm assuming that's German um, regardless I can't pronounce either one of them so uh, there you go Biko off the Peter Gabriel 3 album or Melt as some people like to call it on the UK Charisma label. Uh, keeping with the theme with Peter Gabriel, this is Genesis. Uh, I actually found several of these um, for a, a couple dollars each. I think, it, I think they were $1.99 or $2.99. Um, but this is Illegal Alien from the Invisible Touch album. This is a US pressing and the B-side is Turn It On Again, which is odd. Um, I actually sent a copy of this same exact record to uh, somebody else in the VC and they noticed that it was turned on again as the B-side too. And then, you know, that's turned on again was from uh, well, Abacab, um, this, which was several years before this album. So kind of an odd choice. It's not even like a you know, different version or a live version or something, which would make it cool. Nope. <laughs> Just a studio version of turned on again uh, as the B-side to Illegal Alien. Genesis. What can I say? I'm a big Genesis geek. Keeping on with the Genesis, this is also, this one was like a dollar or two dollars. This is a U.S. pressing of Invisible Touch. And I did this as a promo pressing. The Last Domino and Invisible Touch. And it is a promo pressing, but with a picture sleeve. Um, more Genesis. Again, same record store. This one was a dollar ninety-nine, I believe. This is uh, In Too Deep by Genesis um, with I'd Rather Be With You or I'd Rather Be You um, which is a exclusive song to this 7 inch vinyl I believe well considering it says unavailable on LP I would say that's correct <laughs> so there you go uh, Genesis so got three for Genesis there and um, one for Peter Gabriel all cool finds all three dollars or less at Amoeba Records in uh, Hollywood California there's a Record Store Day release. This is um, The Sword with John the Revelator. Of course, John the Revelator being an old gospel blues song. Uh, there's, excuse me, two different versions on here. Uh, the Church House Mix. And the uh, slightly longer regular version, which is just called John the Revelator. Uh, three minutes and 14 seconds. But uh, yeah, The Sword, Record Store Day release. Uh, this one was given to me by Bill from Rocks Records. Uh, another one to add to the Marillion Collection. This is Kayla. Or Kayla. Kyla, um, and I believe this is a U.S. pressing. Yeah, front cover, back cover, Capitol Records center ring. So my seven-inch Marillion and Genesis collection has taken a huge, huge uh, increase in the past few months. Just keep finding this stuff, you know, inexpensive in different places. Again, this one I found also at uh, Amoeba Records. This one I believe was $2. Um, not a band you ever see 7-inch singles by. Um, this is Come On Frenchie and A-Side Nobody Rides For Free off of the second Atlantic album from Dirty Looks. Very cool. Uh, like I said, you don't find Dirty Looks 7-inch singles very often. Uh, Aerosmith Smith single from the 70s, uh, Get It Up, backed with Milk Cow Blues from the Draw The Line album. Uh, again, this was like $1.99 at uh, same store and this one as well this being go to hell from 1976 back to with never cry on the warner brothers label with the original warner record sleeve 
And that is the last of the ones that do not have any um, uh, record sleeves on them or picture sleeves. The rest of these all have picture sleeves. And excuse me if I keep touching my nose, but my allergies are driving me nuts tonight. It's my nose itches. <laughs> uh, Ted Nugent, Little Miss Dangerous, uh, backed with Angry Young Man. And um, he basically said, you just showed this one not too long ago. I didn't. Um, actually, there's, uh, let's see if I can dig it out real quick right here. Um, there's two singles with the exact same cover, the exact same B-side. So here you got High Heels in Motion, backed with Angry Young Man. And this is a promotional only copy on the light blue Atlantic label. This one is uh, an actual single for Little Miss Dangerous backed with Angry Young Man. So while they look very similar, you can see there are slight differences in the color and obviously they're different songs. So they're not the same and I didn't show them before. <laughs> and uh, again, I think I, this one was $1.99 Amoeba Records so I snagged it up. One of the records I've been missing. Uh, this one here, I I think I picked it up at Hastings here in the in, the, uh, in Albuquerque um, while my buddy Olaf was here from Germany. Um, price tag says $7.98, but I'm pretty sure I got this in a discount bin or got it for a uh, percentage off. Um, I just been grabbing these as I see them. If they're you know cheap, five bucks or less, I usually grab them. Um, this is Run to the Hills Live with Phantom of the Opera Live. Phantom of the Opera being from uh, Hammersmith Odeon '84, Run to the Hills Long Beach '85. Uh, and this is one of those first time press in the U.S. 7-inch singles. I uh, haven't even opened this one yet, so. Uh, UK pressing for White Snake Standing in the Shadow on the Liberty label. This is a UK pressing. Um, and backside is all or nothing. And it's funny because it has the American mix. <laughs> Clearly the UK had the better mix of that album anyhow. Still searching for a, a good uh, UK copy of uh, Slide It In. Um, I prefer the UK mix to the, uh, to the U.S. mix. White Snake, Standing in the Shadow. Um, this one I picked up online. Um, got the next two, uh, both Japanese pressings. Got them really cheap, for like three or four bucks each. Uh, I bought them both because the shipping was the same for both. So this is from the, uh, I can't remember what album this is from. Everything Works If You Let It and Way of the World. Um, live Japan Jam 1980. Um, and this is, like I said, Japanese pressing on Epic Records. And then also, cheap trick, tonight it's, going to, tonight it's you, I think this was from like around 85, backed with Wild uh, Wild, Wild Woman. I think there's a year on here somewhere. Yep, 85. Oh, good guess. Again, another Japanese pressing. So I snagged both these Japanese pressings for, uh, like I said, really cheap. Um, I'm a big cheap trick fan, so I was happy to snag them both. Um, I don't actively seek out... Japanese pressings on seven inches, but they are cool if you can find them for a decent price. Uh, I might have showed this one in a video before. Picked this one up at the San Diego Head Metal Swap Meet for five dollars. It says seven, but um, bargained on this the, um, five because uh, somebody named Ricardo wrote his name on Paul's face. So Ricardo, uh, I have your record, um, <laughs> and it's on the uh, you know Casablanca Records of Filmworks uh, label, and this is a German pressing, I believe. I uh, could be wrong on that. Nope, French pressing. Made in France. It says right there, French press. <laughs> Pay attention. Uh, this is Skeleton Witch. Now we're getting into the metal. Uh, unending, ever living. This is a one song single. The B side to this, there is no music on it. It's just a silk screen of the band logo. Which, it's kind of cool, but frankly, I'd rather have the music. Uh, they could have put that graphic on the center ring. It would still look cool. Um, whatever. It is uh, it is what it is. It's a collectible thing. Uh, Skeleton Witch being, you know, a new wave of thrash metal band with very harsh, uh, almost black, and black metal style vocals. Um, this is Ex Mortis for the Horde. Back to with As, as, uh, as Above, So Below, the Ingbe Malmsteen cover song. Very, very cool. Uh, thrash metal band Ex Mortis. Uh, I played with them once or twice uh, in Ultimatum. Uh, the Void Vibe single that I've been missing from my collection, again, this is from Amoeba Records in Hollywood. Uh, backed with Napalm Death, Phonetics for the Stupefied. So now I have the both the, uh, the, what do you call these things, the dual two bands on one thing, single. Uh, Void Vibe released two, one with At the Gates, one with, uh, with uh, Napalm Death. 
managed to find them both at the same place um, in uh, in Hollywood. I believe this is on like a red vinyl. Yeah, translucent red vinyl. Split seven inch. That was the word I was looking for. Another split. I picked this up at the Head Metal Swap Meet. Picked this up directly from Kate and DePena of uh, Hyrax. This is Hyrax Sodom split seven inch single. Sodom song being waterboarding. Uh, Hyrax song being Hellion Rising. Uh, colored vinyl. Kind of this orange brown marble marble opaque vinyl. Almost looks like caramel. Uh, they had two. I grabbed one. Bill Baffert grabbed the other one. Um, according to Kate, and that's all he has left in his inventory, and they're not, there's no more. They're sold out. So this was the one split and the one Hyrax 7 inch I was missing from my collection. Along with this one, which is a 2015 release from Malaysia. This is the, uh, I just showed this one before, uh, but I'm showing you again for a reason. This is the uh, West East Thrashaholic beat up kind of an awkward title um, from the Malaysian band whose name I can never pronounce. Uh, Sarayan Hassan, I believe is how you say it. Um, with the O2 Exodus uh, on the cover here. Um, but now this one, my copy here, is signed by Kate and DePena. Uh, and included with that is one of Kate's cards um, from his DJing gig. And he did DJ the uh, Heavy Metal Swap Meet and just played some great metal the entire time we were there, which was cool. Uh, Testament, Native Blood. This is, uh, I believe it's on red vinyl. And the B-side is, um, uh, it's, I believe it's the same song. It's just in, in Span or Spanish, I believe. Sangre Nativa. And I actually haven't spun this one yet. I just recently received this in the mail. And yeah, this is on a fire engine red, blood red, whatever, vinyl. Testament, Native Blood. Pick, I did pick this one up on um, on eBay for five bucks. This one was in the delete bin at uh, uh, at that same store, Amoeba Records in Hollywood. Uh, stacked it up because it's one that I'm missing from this band. Another split seven inch. This is three inches of blood. Call of the Hammer live. Um, back to with. Actually, that's, actually, they are the B-side. The A-side is Bob Wayne. Everything's legal in Alabama. Um, not a big fan of the Bob Wayne. They did play this track. It's kind of a... I don't know what you call that stuff. Southern, Southern hillbilly rock. I don't know. Um, I like the Hammerfall song. Uh, unfortunately, I hate the Hammerfall intro. Um, that's on there. It just annoys me to no end. But um, still, I collect anything Three Inches of Blood, so I'm glad to have this live split single in my collection and let me see that might be it I believe that is it is that it is that it yes everything else I've shown so that's it that is my uh, seven inch update for uh, this month um, it is quite a few actually most of them I picked up at Amiibo very cheap um, which was great. I walked out with a big stack, and uh, I think I paid twenty dollars for the whole stack because they were all two and three dollars each. Uh, a couple of them might even been a dollar. Um, but not only did I grab those that you showed you for me, I grabbed tons for other people in the VC. Um, some of which I've already sent out. You might have seen the videos. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, seven-inch update. Um, leave a message below. Uh, always respond. Um, that's it. God bless. Oh, by the way, I should mention the music playing lightly in the background is um, Ben Ortner. This is his demo CD um, which he gave to me back in December of 15. Um, ben Ortner, Out of the Struggle. So, uh, haven't heard it in a while so I pulled it out and gave it a listen. Something mellow and relaxing to listen to. Ben Ortner, there you go.